Many of these scientists had waited most of their careers for this moment, and this is what the relief after such a long wait looks like. The European Space Agency's Rosetta mission had just landed a spacecraft, Philae, onto a comet 500 million kilometers from Earth, the first time in human history. A scientific experiment, 20 years in the making, and so far it's worked perfectly. On its drift to the surface, Philae had sent back the closest picture ever taken of a comet, from just three kilometers away. Tell us just what just happened. <laughs> best moment in my life, apart from, you know, well, yeah, the best moment in my life. Feli has landed safely on the comet surface. We've heard we've got the news back, it's landed, it's talking to uh, mission control. All systems go now for all the experiments. Wonderful. It was the most audacious space mission ever mounted. At 8.35 this morning, the Philae lander was released from the Rosetta mothership. At just after 2.15 p.m., the first image taken by Philae reached the Earth it showed the Rosetta craft. A little later, Rosetta sent back a picture of Philae as it made its descent towards the comet. Then, at five past four, after a nervous wait, the landing was confirmed. But later it emerged there might be a problem. The craft's landing harpoons hadn't fired as intended. Not so good news is uh, that the anchoring harpoons apparently did not fire. So the lander is not anchored to the surface. One theory is that the lander bounced back off the surface of the comet. So maybe today we didn't just land once, we even landed twice. <laughs> It'll be another sleepless night for the flight operations team, who will spend the next day analysing the data from Philae to try and work out what its situation is. Even so, with Philae's landing, these scientists have pushed back the limits of space engineering. If all goes well, they now hope to push forward our knowledge of how our solar system was formed.